Hey guys, um, so uh, I'm making another video. First I showed you how to um, build a custom firmware and restore with Pondage tool. Um, that is only for a Mac, so if you do not have a Mac and you want to use the Pondage tool um, custom restore, you can get a friend that has a Mac to build one for you, or you can um, go to the Insane the Eye forum and we've built some there that you can download. Um, so if you go into the jailbreak support section, we have, um, so far we've just done 3.1.3 uh, for older devices, 4.1 and 4.2.1. So if you go in there, you'll find everything you need. Um, even if you do have Punish tool, sometimes it's faster to just download the already made ones instead of building your own. So um, you can just go in here. Um, there are links to Red Snow for Windows and Mac. Um, this is to get you into Pondia View mode. There's also the custom firmware activated and not activated for all the devices. So um, once you've downloaded that, you will need to download the original not custom firmware. So um, go to this website and download it, um, whatever. Um, I think I'll do, I think I have the iPad one on my computer, so I'll show you with that one. Um, so download whatever firmware you need for that. And then um, you open up Red Snow. So this is to get you into DFU mode and get you ready um, to restore. So you hit browse, you find your not custom firmware, let's see iPad, the regular one that just says restore. You open that up and then once it finds it you hit next going to prepare the jailbreak data and then well here's a, another little tip if you are having problems with Cydia and just want to install Cydia like if you're having troubles with the loader on Green Poison or something you can just click that install Cydia boom next and then it'll install Cydia but for this purpose we want to uncheck that we want to just enter PondDFU right now and then you click next um, it wants your device to be off and plugged into the computer, so turn it off and plug it in, and then you click next, and then it, you just follow these directions. Um, I don't, uh, I don't have my, well I'm going to plug mine in because I need to show you on iTunes, but, um, I am not, um, doing this, but, so it's going to fail out, but, um, once you follow these directions, if you mess up, it'll let you try it again. Um, but once you get it, it'll um, say it's successful, and then you just go into where's my iTunes. So here you do the same thing. Um, uh, if you're on a Mac, Option Restore, I believe Windows is Shift Restore. And then you just find your the custom one that you downloaded. Um, 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 which is for my iPad. And you choose that one, you choose it, you click OK, and it'll restore. So um, if you don't have your host files edited to the Cydia server, um, since Apple is no longer signing, um, 4.2.1 you need to have your host files edited so um, what you need to do is uh, all you need to do is um, use tiny umbrella you open it up and start TSS server it will change it over for you um, I'll just tiny umbrella. so you open tiny umbrella and you start the TSS server and then um, that'll change your host files for you if you don't have it manually changed. Um, um, you just click this and then you make sure that you don't have any errors. So 
you check here and it should say there's no errors and then accepting connections and then you should be good to go um, if you or you can watch my video and manually change it if for some reason tiny umbrella is not working for you which I had a couple people having problems with that so um, that's that's pretty much it you just um, that's pretty much it so it's really simple it's just a matter of um, you know actually doing it and hopefully this video will show you how easy it is so you're not so scared to try it alright um, that's about it okay thanks guys bye